Welcome everyone and Happy New Year for 2023. On the last business day of December, I received this very welcome letter from Zor Lin, who, as you know, is one of the two Kotao murder scapegoats who was convicted on very dodgy DNA evidence. And I'll share it with you now. It reads, uh, Dear Ian Yarwood, How are you? I hope you are in good health and everything is fine with you. I got your letters dated the 27th of October 2022 and the 28th of October 2022 and the 9th of November 2022 and I also got two more postcards dated the 26th of October 2022 and the another one was dated the 4th of November 2022. I always thank you so much for taking the time to write to me and encouraging me with your letters and some pictures and trying very hard to get me out of prison. It's really kind of you what you are doing for me now and it's priceless and compared to nothing. In your letter dated the 27th of October 2022, which by the way was a letter to the Red Cross Society of Thailand, you enclosed a copy of letter to German Foreign Minister and about the top diplomats from all over the world that you have been requesting them to assist me. And you also enclosed a picture of the Thai King that he used to live in Australia in relation to military college. It's great you let me know what you have done to help me. I was glad that you got a message from Lieutenant Colonel Gary. This was Lieutenant Colonel Gary Stone. And he congratulate you what you are trying to get me out of prison. I was also glad to hear the good news from you that Ambassador of Switzerland to Australia named Caroline, she has reported about my situation to the Swiss government in Bern, Switzerland. So it was really kind of her sent information about me to her government. Let's wait and see whether the Swiss government forward a very polite request to the King of Thailand to grant me one full pardons. In your letter, I see a picture of me that you made a video with the letter dated the 20th of September, 2022. I sent it to you. I think it's really good to keep remind people from all over the world not to forget me with the letters that I sent to you. You have a good idea, so I congratulate you for that. In your second letter, dated the 28th of October 2022, you enclosed a copy of letter that you wrote to the Secretary General of the Thai Red Cross Society, and you also added to this letter a picture of Ukrainian women released during exchange with Russia on the 17th of October. And you also mentioned a picture of Thai royal family walking by Lake Geneva in Lausanne, Switzerland. It's great you give me some interesting information what is happening outside nowadays. In your third letter dated the 9th of November 2022, you enclosed five pictures of my mother in which are attached to Suzanne's book. And you also showed me two pictures of Suzanne and one picture of me. The picture was when I stayed outside. I think it's nice that some of my mum's pictures are attached to Suzanne's book. And I also think the people who read the book and look at my mum's pictures will pity her and one day someone will come forward to help me and get me out of prison. It's really great that you are keeping asking important people from all over the world to help me by requesting that they make polite requests to His Majesty to grant me full pardons. I highly request that you not to give up asking important people from all over the world whether they forward or not. It's up to them, but I believe they will discuss to each other about my situation. I thank you so much for your songs that you put in each envelopes for me when you send letter to me. And I also special thank you for the four Myanmar songs that you put for me in the last envelope. 
So now I have something to have fun with some of my friends, although I am under the circumstance. I send you all my best thoughts. Take care of yourself. Happy New Year. Sincerely, Zorlin.